So here's some footage, little clips of myself training with some of the best, fastest riders on earth. Andre Greipel in front of me, sitting on Andre's wheel, spinning. This guy spins a lot. Andre Greipel with the banana in the back. Carbs for the win. Andre again, we're cruising up uh, through the hills here. Notice all the lads spinning, easy gears, riding pretty controlled, just always spinning. We'll be a little bit lost here. Up Checkers Hill with the Lotto team. This is a fucking wall. This is a steep fucking climb. You can see the cadence these guys have dropped right down. I've got the backpack on, an extra two kilos. Oh, he's so stoned. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big bus coming, big bus. Boys, there's a big bus, careful. So right here on Belair Road, the boys are seeing a koala and they're going crazy over it. <laughs> Today, as can tell, up here back. Crash up front. That's the thing at Adelaide, man. Best cycling fucking on earth. Iskatel lads checking out the bamboo beast, the Phil Web bamboo creation. Quite surprised that I could ride that quick up the climbs on a bit of a heavy bike. <laughs> quite, quite surprised there. It's good. I get to hang out with these sort of level of riders. You get to see what they eat, how they think, and they're talking and hydration, how much they piss each day. It's just it's great hanging out behind the scenes with the lads out training. Really, I learn a lot of lessons from training with professional athletes. And here, we and here we have Movie Star team. Look at that little white tape there just to measure the seat height. All the guys are running power, power meters. Everyone's running power meters these days. If you ain't training with power, you ain't training. <laughs> just shows you what you can do on the bike when you've got a power meter on there. Shows you what you are doing and what you're not doing. But just, this is a powerful unit of measurement. Everyone should get power meter. And then we have Astana. These guys spin easy gears as well. All the teams spin. Cruising down the beaches of recovery day with the movie star. Did about four hours with them, I think, that day. On the flat, just spinning. And you notice how just relaxed these guys are. Just casual, having fun. They're making it social. They're making it easy. Jersey unzip there, staying a bit cooler. It's quite warm. You can see the wind and the McDonald's flag on the left. Riding into a bit of a strong westerly headwind. But again, these guys just learning, riding the pros, the experienced pros, you learn a lot about just being relaxed and saving energy for when it matters. So these guys sort of accelerate off the lights about 70%. And then uh, just form a pace line, quite easily pace. We'll probably sit on about uh, 150 watts. At the back here, pretty chill, pretty casual, just cruising along. Fun in the sun, that's what it's about, fun in the sun. A bit of a tan, a bit of a conversation, all is well, all is well. Just spinning, spinning and cruising along. Back out with Andy Schleck, Jens Voigt. Can you guess which is which? Can you guess which is which? Which one's Andy? Which one is Jens? So this is with Andy Schleck and Jens Voigt. This was before the, uh, the Trek team had their kit, the official kit, so they just got some craft gear and slapped it on. They got the team bikes there, and the own sevens. So we're cruising down towards the hills. Problem with his uh, SRM here, his little power control unit wasn't picking it up. So the team car was there to assist the matter, checking it out. So you can see the bones, the hip bones of this right on the left. When you've got some good form, your hip bones will stick out of your ass. That's when you lean. That's when you lean. So you can see Andy Schleck there, still got a bit of weight to lose. Still got a bit of weight to lose. Not as uh, skinny as he is when he's in the Tour de France fitness, which is normal, which is healthy. You don't want to be lean all year long. Cruising along. Up Unley Road. Andy Schleck on the left. Jens Voigt on the right. Jens has got his banana. In the back, not fully ripe, but I'll give him he's got a banana in there. So you can see the uh, 
Jens Voigt's arms a bit skinnier this time of year than Andy Schleck at the moment. Voigt, a little bit leaner, a little bit fitter, a little bit lighter. Cruising along up Anne's Anley Road here. And you can notice the cadence. Everyone's spinning. I'm sitting on about 150 watts here at the back. Just cruising. Just spinning. Here we go, Movistar. Now this is <laughs> close to 400 watts of cruising up Corkscrew Road. I'm shaking the bars, trying to stay in contact. See, the right in front of me, he's on the limit, on the rivet. He's only done about 50k at this moment. I've done 160k and caught up with these boys. We're going up the Corkscrew, one of the toughest climbs in Australia. A real leg buster, a real lung burner, a real heart starter. See, the rider in front of me is just about to pop. You can see his posture. He's straining, he's pushing, he's just chewing the stem, and then pew, pop. I'm going around him. The gap got too big. I should have went around him earlier, but yeah, when you're passing Tour de France riders, it's just etiquette to not pass him if you can. But but he was going too slow, so we did go around him. Back on the back on the wheels of the fast blads, and now they're just starting to accelerate. And what they do, these movie star guys, is they, they ride two abreast and just fucking put the pace down, but do it really covertly. But with the power meter, you can see the wattage you go up. It's quite a very smooth transition into the next power zone. Quite interesting little te te technique there. Without a power meter, you, know, you just think what's going on. So these guys are some of the best climbers on earth. The movie star Spanish climbers. Quite well known. We'll get to the top of the climb. There's a team car there for refreshments, carbs and water. Even during the night he gets a bottle of water there. And uh, that was quite a hard climb that day. Quite hot. I've done 160k. They went up Corkscrew with Movistar. Had a two kilo backpack on. Full of some tin fruit and stuff. Quite a good day. That's what I love about Adelaide. Awesome training. Fantastic.